Uh, I'd just like to uh, address the board because a lot of what's being said here is not the feelings of everybody. And that doesn't mean that I support uh, racism or prejudice or discrimination. What it means is that I'm uh, proud of the history of my country. I'm proud of uh, being able to look at a flag and explain to my family, my children, what that flag represents. I don't need anybody else to tell my children. I can handle that myself. So I don't mind that big flag hanging up there. That gentleman, is, it's his property, it's his poll. If he wants to put it up there, that's fine. It doesn't change the position that I have or my children have. I educate them on what the flag means. Uh, and that goes for the statutes as well. I think that the board is standing up for what is, what's right, whatever their personal opinions are, it doesn't matter. They're standing up for what the county uh, wants to believe in. And I think there's a lot of people in this room who agree with this stance. And uh, you have your opinions, and many of us have our own opinions. So thank you for the time, and I uh, appreciate it. Thank you for your courage. And I did indeed apply for a permit to fly my own 80-foot Black Lives Matter flag. It's been reported this is fake news. Here is the approved permit. Um, <clears throat> It's been reported not only nationally on Fox News and the Washington Post and Essence Magazine, but even internationally, Australia, Lithuania. The world is watching us here in Stafford. The crowds of people who are supporting us is growing. 750 people have shared my fundraising website and 240 people have raised $7,000 in four days. The flag that we intend to fly is 30 by 50 feet, and it has been donated and paid for in full by a Virginia business. And yet we have not heard a word from this board. You know that people here are hurting, and at a minimum you could at least say, I'm sorry we can't do anything about this flag, but we understand it sends a poor message to people about our county, and we'll work hard to counteract that message, even if you don't want to do anything about the flag. And uh, you've heard how it affects people. You've gotten cards, letters, articles, I know, because I've mailed them. But the real story here isn't about the flag and what it does. It's about your lack of leadership. And it's shocking and it's cowardly. And I don't really understand what the problem is. It should be an easy thing to say. I don't think this is the kind of issue that would cause people to not vote for you if that's your concern. Uh, in closing, just based on uh, what I've heard here, I'd just like to say that, you know, those soldiers at that park and the soldiers on the other side, too, at the end of the war forgave each other. And I just wish that, um, I wish we could all come together a little bit and realize that, you know, if they could forgive each other after the horrors that they saw and the, and the losses that they had, it seems like we ought to be able to get over it. So, anyway. Lower the Confederate flag. I don't want it gone. I want a 30-foot flagpole instead of a 30-foot flag. Oversized and ridiculous. That's what it is on I-95. And I want a sign to go up that says, this one man with his one flag on his property does not speak for all of us. But no, you guys want to see more 80-foot flags go up throughout Stafford County, apparently because you don't want to act on it. We are in a divisive time in this country, and this flag is representing divisive issues. We are better than this. So with that said, if it's not an economic answer that you all are looking for and the fact that this is driving our economics away from creating more jobs, more revenue for payroll tax, more revenue for sales tax, and, it, and you know that this is, we have an opportunity to do the right thing here, what is the problem? I mean, I don't understand why we can't come together and make a statement that stays up on the county site that says that we, while we honor our history, we reject what this flag stands for. And I guess that's what everyone in this room would like the county to do, is to take a stand.